Hey guys, um, just doing a, a very quick video on um, trickle in, trickle out. It's a question so you get asked a lot on the forums and the Facebook groups about how best to set one up. So um, I don't, I don't for a minute think mine's the best way to do it, but I've done it and it works. So I thought I'd just share it in case it's useful to someone. I, I'm running an easy pod, so um, although this 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 will work with any pretty much any filter it just needs to be slightly modified but um, it, this is specific to a pod so what, what I've got is um, essentially from me trickle in if we if I look I have some water coming into me little shed here um, coming in through the back I've got a point here with an isolator on and then I've got a feed a valve and a feed running and it runs down the back of the pod and it actually comes in um, the so what that is is that that's the return to the pond so um, water comes out out of the pod here the return through the pump across through a UV um, and then out at the back and up along and then through the wall um, and back to the pond now I've got the water injection point here so basically um, this is just is teeing straight in to the feed going back to the pond um, and I have that set up <clears throat> although what we've got in the, in the filter house here is an open and closed valve so I can turn it on or turn it off at the other end where that actually tees into the water supply from the house to the outside tap. I've got another one of these isolators here um, and I've got it just cracked open a tiny amount um, so it gives me a very tiny flow um, and I measure that by this point here and that, that's the point of this little extra point here. If I close this valve so the water isn't going into the pond anymore and I open this isolator I can put a jug underneath and, and that that will trickle into the jug and I can measure the flow so that's the way I measure how much flow I've got going in to my trickle in um, and that isolator at the other end on the mains uh, it is left alone once I've set it so it's fixed uh, so I never need to change it and what I've got basically on this little pond I lose about three inches of water off the pond level when I flush the Nexus Easy Pod out. EA Easy Pod, sorry. Um, and this trickle is such that it takes about eight hours to put that water back in. So it's a very small trickle and what I do, I tend to do is I clean the filter at night before I go to bed so the level drops and that's handy I guess if fish decide to jump or anything for any reason overnight or predators come uh, but that level is topped back up again by the time I get up in the morning so I never actually see the low level um, it's topped up by the trickle so that's how my trickling works and that, that point down there was the only bit that was slightly tricky uh, and what I've got in there is a push fit a barrier pipe push fit connector and I just bonded that into the T um, uh, and that, that, that works really well as a trickle in. Now the trickle out uh, basically again it's, it's pretty simple but what I've got is on the outlet to waste, the easy pod outlet to waste here, I've basically instead of going down and through and out to waste I've now added an extra valve here just a slide valve um, and I've got this loop coming up oh yeah, and over and down and out to waste so now what I, what I do is if I leave this valve open but I close this valve the water level water comes in and it finds the level in here on gravity based on the pond level um, so I need to cut and set this such that that point there is the same height as the level in the pond that I want the level to be at so if the water rises above that level it goes over this down and then out to waste so it goes around this valve essentially 
um, and that's basically the overflow so as uh, this valve open water comes in but stops here against this one goes up finds its level under gravity and he comes any above that point comes along down and out to waste and that's the trickle out um, so pretty simple relatively inexpensive just a few fittings uh, and it works perfectly well I've not actually glued these fittings yet uh, I left them while I was trying to find the right height um, but I found that there's the odd little drip now and again um, but, but very little so I've just left that unglued so I can actually change that adjust that height if I want to um, in the future but yeah that's the that's the trickle in and the trickle out and, and, and obviously slightly controversial I guess I'm not going to get into it but I, I'm feeding that straight from the tap so as I say it is a very very small flow it replaces the pod which I believe is around, uses around 80-90 litres per clean it takes about 8 hours to put that back in so you can see my trickle is very very small I think 1 litre takes 5 minutes so 1 litre every 5 minutes is the speed that I'm trickling in and at that rate um, with the air I have going in and everything else I never get a reading of chlorine it never it never builds up to a level that's detectable um, well for those who will be screaming chloramines uh, I do periodically throw in um, a chemical treatment that neutralizes chloramines I don't know if they're in my supply I've not had a report but rather than risk it or rather than find out I just put a bit of chemical in that rids, gets rid of chloramines periodically just in case they do build up but chlorine not a problem doing what I'm doing so yeah I hope that's on of some use to to someone um, my camera skills are not great but that, that's the that's the pod there with the trickle in trickle out and as I say um, that's the point there where I actually inject the water okay thank you if you, uh, if you want to see more videos then please do subscribe hopefully I'll get some more content out shortly thank you